I'm here at the GAP Summit with Professor Arturo Casadevall. Arturo, why has there been a recent crisis of integrity in science? Probably because there has been a mismatch between the norms of science and the reward system in science. The norms of science emphasize rigor, reproducibility, and responsibility, while the reward system emphasizes impact, flashiness, making it into the news, things like that. So what are the consequences? The consequences is that there has been potentially a degradation in the quality of the literature. And this could have tremendous consequences for humanity because humanity is going to be very dependent on science to deal with the major challenges that it's facing. Mm. So with this in mind, how can we tackle this problem? I think we need, to, we need to focus on the incentives and the disincentives. And I think we need to return science to a cultural rigor. But the, in, in fixing problems, the first thing is to identify the problem. And I think that some of the work that we and others are doing is just to show that, in fact, there are problems in the literature. What's the relationship between good science and sustainability? So, to really achieve sustainability requires knowledge. And knowledge, in particular, often requires scientific work to generate that knowledge to figure out how to, to make systems sustainable. So, at the end of the day, if you're going to achieve sustainability, you need to have a very strong scientific foundation that must be correct. What's the relationship between fungi and immune therapy? So, fungi are, or fungi, depending on what continent you're in, uh, are the le most ignored kingdom uh, of pathogens. Uh, people worry about getting bacterial infections, viral infections, parasitic infections. They don't usually worry about getting fungal diseases. And the reason for that is because humans tend to be highly resistant to them. In fact, we often don't get fungal diseases unless we become immunosuppressed. And here is the, the conundrum. If you're healthy, you tend to not have to worry about it. But if you become immunosuppressed, you can become vulnerable. Then when you are immunosuppressed, the antifungal agents often don't work very well because you need the immune system to clear the infection. So to really make progress against some of these fungal diseases, we're going to have to develop immunotherapy. That is to restore immunity so that the body fights it together with the antifungals. And just finally, I'd like to talk a little bit about your work. How can society best protect itself against threats like bioterrorism? Uh, the, the, the protection against bioterrorism has to be multi-layered. It, for example, well, society already takes a, puts a tremendous effort in preventing access to organisms. You cannot get to them. But on the other, but on the other hand, oftentimes, nature is the biggest bioterrorist. Uh, for example, it can unleash Ebola on us. So the other major aspect in defense against bioterrorism is to develop therapies, vaccines, and alternatives that will allow us to neutralize these agents when they are unleashed. Thank you very much for coming to talk to us. Arturo's full keynote speech will be available from the GAP Summit YouTube channel. Thank you, Torin. Thank you very much.